Hey guys, welcome back to the video. In this video, we'll talk about how to get a public certificate provided by AWS as a public certificate authority. What exactly what I meant is, if you go to any of the website, you would see a the lock icon like this, and it would be generally verified by a certificate authority. So Amazon also acts as a certificate authority, which you can procure a public certificate for your domain, and you can integrate with the load balancers or CDN or even directly to your EC2, which acts as a public facing servers like Nginx or other uh, servers, whichever we're using it for. So to do that, the first requirement is to, you have your own domain uh, registered or you have the full ownership of the domain. So in the last video, I've talked about how to get the domain registered using Route 53. So now we have the registered domains with us called evidai.com in the under our own account, right? So now you can also see under the hosted zones, it's where the place where you would be exactly creating your DNS records. Why we need a DNS record for public certificate? We'll talk about that. In order to exactly procure a certificate, you would need to use a service called TACM, which is Amazon Certificate Manager. So you go here, also you see like two options. One is for private certificate and the another for the certificate manager, which will be act as a public certificate authority. Okay, so you are going to request it and you request a public certificate and you give a fully qualified domain name. So fully qualified domain name is something like www.evidai.com or you go with like test.api. Whatever the name on which you want to get the cert certificate procured. In most of the scenarios, a certificate will contain multiple domains in it. So if you want to add one more domain to it, you can add uh, the additional part of it. So for now, for testing, I just go with www.evidai.com and you see how are you going to validate some methods. So which means I'm asking a certificate to Amazon that, hey boss, I have a domain called www.evidai.com for which I need a public certificate so that I can host my own website and manage it. But then how Amazon can know from is that I'm either actual owner or any certificate authority, how they can know I'm the actual owner. So for which it comes the uh, validation comes into picture. There are like n number of ways to get the domain validate and the most commonly used methods is like DNS validation where they give you a sample record that to be created in your DNS and based on that they get the validation done or uh, you do the validation based on the email where they send out a link and you click it. So uh, in real world, in real team, uh, the email validation can be tricky because uh, the it can be a different team or Generally, the domain ownership is a sensitive topic, so it would be under the higher management. So it's very hard to get the availability to, you know, get the link clicked and get it approved. And also, uh, like in terms of security wise, like that can be spam, like because you're clicking the link, what if someone impersonate as a certificate authority, right? So to avoid all those things, generally uh, people go for the DNS validation method. And as also see, like even AWS is recommending that to go with DNS validation and you can add tags. So adding tags is actually a best practice when it comes to creating any of the AWS resources. So I will use it like a purpose and uh, I'm mentioning it as demo. Okay, so now the request part is done. So now we entered into a first phase where uh, we requested the certificate and then you see it's entered into the pending validation state. So now we want to uh, do some actions to get the validation complete. So if you see, uh, you got two records cr created here, like one is for like CNAME and the CNAME value. So what AWS asked us to do is, uh, hey us if we want to trust your domain, that you are the owner of it, you have to pro before we procuring the certificate or we provide you the certificate, you go to your DNS entry and get this record created. That's the deal between the certificate authority Amazon and as a domain owner as you. So copy the CNAME, go to the hosted zone or any uh, DNS provider which you actually manage your, uh, uh, you know, the DNS. So create a record and uh, so this falls under the subdomain, right? Because, uh, you know, ebidai.com is your top level domain and then uh, you are procuring certificate for this, so it's a subdomain. So you just fill that and they're asking us to create a CNAME value. So choose uh, record type as CNAME and enter the value as this and TTL uh, doesn't matter, Sim routing policy not going into much into detail, but you just copy the value, uh, pasted it, and then you created a subname and create record. So now 
what we did is we created a validation record which the any uh, anyone can be querying from the outside internet for example i can use a website called uh, bigwebinterface.com and uh, if i query it for c name then you see uh, the record exists yeah so they can verify it by using a dns query saying that uh, is it really valid or not and then if i go for certificate it hardly takes like a couple of minutes uh, like they check whether the dns entry is created or not for a specific domain uh, in a regular interval it's not like every seconds but uh, every few minutes they check it and you see uh, in the next very few clicks it got uh, entered into a issued state so now we can use take this uh, certificate and map it to our services like uh, load balancer or uh, uh, the cloud front which is like aws native services which can host a public facing domain okay and the ma major perks of going with acm one is uh, it auto renews until you have this uh, validation record which uh, within the dns service uh, year on year uh, because as per the latest one you can get the certificate validity of maximum one year right so when when the next time you don't need to reach out to anyone since you already have the validation record of the certificate exists the same certificate will automatically renews for you so as simplified as of getting a public certificate uh, which can be mapped to any load balancer or cloud front okay so hope you find this video useful in the next hands on series we'll talk about how we can uh, launch a public website itself in the aws